No criminal prosecution for a misdemeanor battery for these elementary children in my name or on my watch. A little over an hour ago, State Attorney Aramis Ayala announced she will not charge the two six-year-olds arrested last week in Orlando. The two kids were taken into custody on unrelated misdemeanor battery charges, and now the school resource officer who arrested them is under an internal investigation. The Orlando Police Department's policy says in order to arrest a child under the age of 12, a watch commander's approval is required. Police say that did not happen in this case. News 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer joins us now, so he's here to talk about what can happen next. First of all, welcome. And nice I'm to see you. so curious to know, what was your reaction when you first heard about this. I mean, shocked, yeah. shocked. Um, you know, this shouldn't happen. This is not the job of law enforcement, you know, to raise young children uh, in the criminal justice system. That's just not the way it's supposed to work out. So I think it's, it's appalling. I think if you, you know, that's, if you talk to anybody on the street, they're going to tell you this is an appalling scenario. Does the family have any legal recourse here? What can they do so something like this does not happen to another six-year-old? Because this child may possibly be scarred for the rest of her life, and the other one. We don't know who the other six-year-old is, but what can this family do to make sure that there is more thoughtful or a thoughtful process in place? Well, I mean, bringing this to the attention of the public is a big part of the process. This just shouldn't happen. You know, there was a presumption under the common law that children under the age of seven didn't have the mental capacity to commit a crime. You know, if every child under the age of seven that, you know, bit or punched or kicked or wrestled with another child There'd was arrested. No kids out there. You'd have two-year-olds in jail. You'd have 18-month-olds in jail. Uh, that's just not the, that's not the plan that we all have. So, you know, what we want is to bring this to the attention of the public so that we can get some change here. How did this even happen? I mean, we spoke with the grandmother who said that her six-year-old granddaughter was basically accused of throwing a tantrum and kicking a teacher in the process. How do we Sounds get to like that point? Yeah, where a, a school resource officer who is a veteran law enforcement officer served more than two decades at OPD thought that that was appropriate to arrest the six-year-old. I mean, as you mentioned, every six-year-old has done that in their mm -hmm. life. That's exactly right. Yeah. I mean, that's what six-year-olds do. They throw tantrums. So they have a, they don't get enough sleep. They act out. The, the, if every time a child acts out, we involve law enforcement, we're going to be in a very ugly place. You know, as to why this happened, this is a good opportunity for law enforcement, for the OPD to do an internal investigation and take a better look at these mm -hmm. protocols and figure out exactly what went wrong here. But I don't believe this person was an active OPD officer. He had retired from mm -hmm. the force from what I read and was now serving um, as a school resource officer, um, you know, it, not with Orlando P police. Well, you know, even there, this is a retired, experienced law enforcement yeah. officer who, frankly, should know that there are better alternatives than placing a six-year-old in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. You know, that is the job of parents to raise children, not the job of law enforcement. We have enough people in the criminal justice system and the juvenile justice system where we don't need to crowd it out with, you know, six-year-olds. In, in some states, they have minimum ages. In Florida, we don't have that. What we rely on is common sense. And with the Orlando Police Department, they have a protocol, too. And that protocol is supposed to be you involve a watch commander. Mm -hmm. You get somebody else's eyes on it before you take the step of arresting somebody under the age of 12 years old. And there are very, very few scenarios where you see a child of six or seven yeah. or eight years old arrested and but put you, in handcuffs. But this, this gentleman is responsible for two of them. Mm -hmm. What does that say? Does there need to be some sort of training that happens mm -hmm. so he's better equipped to handle the next time a six-year-old throws a tantrum or kicks someone? I mean, I thought that these school resource officers were supposed to be trained before they're going into our That's schools. That's exactly right, because you're in a position where you're dealing with children. And the law enforcement approach to children is completely different than the way we treat adults. The goal of dealing with children is to rehabilitate them. Mm -hmm. You know, even where you have a child that's committed a criminal act, the idea is it's not punitive, it's rehabilitative. It's to get them back on track. You know, the, the, it's called parents patri patriae. It's the idea that when children aren't stepping up that this, and parents aren't stepping up, then sometimes the state has to step in. But that's after you've exhausted those resources, after you've reached out to the parents and involved them. Well, hopefully this has school districts, the state, uh, law yeah. enforcement agencies, you know, all over the country reevaluating how they handle situations like this. Let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to see you. I Always. hope we never have to see you again on a story like this. <laughs> Not like this one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Awful. All right, thank you.